Hello Heart of Tarot and hello my mystery school. It's Meryl Key and today I wanted to have a look at how the coronavirus might affect the Tokyo Olympics. So it's the very beginning of March right now and the virus was first announced at the end of December, beginning of January. So we're two months in. The epicenter of the virus, Wuhan in China, has been in lockdowns since that time. And we've watched the um, illness spread westward towards Europe. The largest Asian countries outside of China to be affected have been South Korea and Japan. So we're really looking now at what Japan might be doing around the preparations for the Olympic Games all the athletes, the sponsors, the supporters, everything that's involved in getting this thing ready, getting it built and hosted with this pandemic going on all over the world. So our question is, how will the coronavirus affect the Tokyo Olympic Games? First card, the chariot. In the present, we've got six of wands. Near future, high priestess. The path to follow is the queen of swords. So this is a decision really needs to be made. In the environment, we've got the magician. Destructive force, the eight of swords and the potential outcome, Six of Pentacles. Okay. So if we start here with the chariot, this is the rapid response, the preparations, the getting everything moving, getting a team happening, charging full steam ahead. It's also about the preparation, feeling very prepared. The Six of Wands, where they are right now, is actually celebrating. They must feel like they're on top of it. Six of Wands is a, um, a recognition card where you get reward for your work. It's uh, the coming of a new king, there's good news. If we look over at the destructive force with the Eight of Swords, this is more like that hostage situation. The destructive force is um, how well isolation is working. Uh, how well, uh, how they can manage the panic that's coming up because this uh, swords are about your mental thoughts and this is like a mental prison. So the destructive force is really counteracting the, the panic with the good work and the preparation. Where they're headed though is the high priestess and this is a big unknown. This is uh, secrets that haven't come out yet decisions that um, maybe get buried, news and information that seems to turn inward. I would say that's because we've got the magician in the place of the environment. The magician is the one that gets things happening. So it, it looks from this, at this point, they're all set to go ahead with the Tokyo Olympics. The magician is also a spin doctor. And when I look across here, I see that it's the biggest challenge facing getting them happening or the biggest effect of the coronavirus on the games is managing the spread of information. And I guess that would be true anywhere in the world right now. This kind of panic and mental imprisonment, people um, in isolation cut off from supplies, but also unable to move from their bonds. This, when we look over here, it's, it's just a different way of being, isn't it? This one is the celebration. We've got another six at the end. So the outcome is the six of pentacles. And this is that weighing things up, the... Um, having to share good fortune, having to know when to ask, how to receive. All of these cards are about setting a balance. 
So the hardest thing is managing that imprisonment of the fear and seeing how the um, isolating the virus goes. But on either side of it, we've got a very careful weighing up of the preparation and how they manage the story and the news and the information getting out. Because this one says there are things that they would like to hold back on. It also might be some countries withdrawing voluntarily or some sports pulling out. Six of Pentacles is that balance between all the stakeholders as well. The amount of money that's been spent on this already of everyone involved. Our path to follow, the Queen of Swords. Now, this one is a very clear thinking, straight acting leadership card. In this deck, we can see there's a mirror bouncing backwards and forwards a rainbow. So behind her, she's supported by this idea of, you know, that's like the um, Olympic colors of one family, one purpose, you know, we're really all here to support each other. But her back is turned and she needs to deal with all this stuff in the background. These are all the um, conflicts and the, the, like I said, the different stakeholders. And she needs to have her head down very, very clear about how to support this and come from this place. So the Queen of Swords is about laws and regulations. This will also be the Olympic Committee being very clear about um, their preparation and how all the different stakeholders are balanced and managed. So I have to say from this, there's not a massive resounding, yes, it's all going ahead, but it almost looks like there's no choice but for it to go ahead. So I'll draw a card now to represent the overall success of the Tokyo Olympics. Hanged man. Well, things are hanging in the balance. That This is a bit like this. Maybe there will be a postponement, though the magician and the queen of swords are acting like it's all on. The hanged man is the jury's out on how successful it is. So I, I would expect with this that it can't be fully realised, it can't be fully um, reach its potential. So let's see if we can just hone in our question a bit. So I might ask very clearly, will the games be postponed because of the coronavirus? Will the Tokyo Olympics be postponed 24th of July 2020 because of the problem in logistics with the coronavirus? Two of Pentacles, it's a juggle, the Hierophant and the Hermit. Oh, isolation. The Hermit in the middle, number five. Five is change. We start with the juggle, the different stakeholders, the money, the reputation, all of those things, the health, and then the hierophant is, is that uh, trying to link the spiritual values with the reality. And this is also government. I think various governments might step in and um, the hermit is about isolating. How successful are they? to contain the virus by the time athletes and, and the officials start arriving a few months before the moon. Okay, that's not good. This means there really will be an issue around isolation. And the hermit is the government officials, the health system. The balancing of integrity against money. So I'll ask how this postponement may take place. Wheel of Fortune, Three of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. 
okay, it's actually up to fate at the moment. Timing is involved. They may be still waiting, but time will turn. Sometimes this is a turn for good fortune. With the Three of Swords there, though, that's the Heartbreak card. And the Four of Pentacles is trying to hold on to what you have, um, really trying to constrain, feeling very insecure, and trying to keep a foundation base and not losing anything extra. So this is a bit like cut your losses. It's yet to be played out. But decisions need to be made and these ones give me, in, in with the question, will the games be postponed? These ones are about isolation and, and mystery, concealment, deception, things that can't move forward, confusion. Potentially around the times of the full moon, we may know more. But there's certainly a cloud over it starting on July the 24th. I'm Meryl Key, and this is my mystery school in the heart of tarot. I'm based in Australia, but you can contact me worldwide at www.merylkey.com.